Yo, what's good you guys? We're back with some more Teach Tape and today we're talking about starting your aquaponics system and cycling your nutrients. Now, what do we mean by that? Now, we mean to build your biological environment to the point where it can support both the lives of your produce and the fish in the system. And there are a few steps you have to take in order to do so. And it starts with cycling your nutrients. Now, when cycling your nutrients, you can start with fish or without fish. We prefer to start without fish because when you start with fish, you're introducing them into an environment that will eventually have high levels of ammonia. And with no nitrifying bacteria initially to start, there's no way to lower those ammonia levels to make the environment healthy for your fish and you will see high mortality rates amongst your fish. So if you're gonna start with fish, I would say definitely mentally prepare yourself for that and purchase a fish that is low costing because you will have to replace those fish until you get the system to where it needs to be. Now, an alternative to that is to cycle your system in the absence of fish, which is what we prefer to do. Now you can introduce ammonia into your system um, over time and continue to test it until you start to see the presence of nitrite. Once nitrite appears, nitrate isn't far behind and your system will soon be ready to start producing produce at a level that you need to supply the community. Now, another way that you can cycle your system is to introduce live water, which is what we're gonna do. Introducing live water would mean taking water from an aquaponic system that's already running and inserting it into a new system because that will introduce the nitrifying bacteria that you need to jumpstart your system and kind of speed up that process. The normal process usually takes around six weeks um, whereas if you're introducing live water, that process can be sped up immensely. Um, another way to introduce live bacteria to your system would be to input some towers that you may have from another system. So what we're going to do is input some towers that, that we have on our right side into our, the system on our left side and this will allow us to introduce that nitrifying bacteria at a quicker rate and get the levels that we need to where we can support the biological environment for both the fish and the produce. Now, you definitely can input plants um, into your system as you're going through and cycling and getting everything ready, but be aware you will run into some nutrient deficiencies uh, because the system isn't what it needs to be to support the lives of those produce yet. Not quite, but there are ways to counteract those nutrient deficiencies, as you can see in the other videos that we put out on this channel. Um, so definitely take in, in mind that you will have to keep track of those plants and uh, keep a watchful eye as they're going through this, this process and you're cycling your system to begin with. Now, if you have any additional questions, definitely feel, re feel free to reach out to us. Um, we're available you know, through email, through DM, um, or directly through this channel, through the comments. But yeah, man, if there's any more information you guys need, feel free to reach out. Tap in with us next time. Peace.